천. 천. Thin. 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 You're losing your voice. Raise your voice again. Khan. Khin. Khun. Then. 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 Run. 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 These are the examples that you will see of ten ween. These are all of them. There are no others. This is ten ween. Between every letter, there's only these letters. And they only come an, in, un. So it's only going to be ban, bin, bun, or jan, jin, jun, or qan, qin, qun. So look at it. There's nothing strange. And if you can recognize this and you can read this, then we can go forward. Okay? Now, let's go forward. Do you have any questions? Now, you should have learned when you studied Arabic the four types of tanween. That's not a really a thing that is pounded in a person's head when they study tajweed, but it's mentioned. Why is it mentioned? Because as you're reciting the Book of Allah, you should be what? Understanding what the Book of Allah is saying to you. And when you see the different tanween, they mean different things. Okay? So before we move ahead, I'm just going to go briefly over this point of the different types of tanween and why it's there and what they represent. The first one is called Temkin. Say Tenwinu Temkin. Temkin. The word, actually, the title is not really important as so much as when you look at it, you can see what is going on, what's, what's being said. Okay? I don't want to confuse anybody. Look, we have Temkin. We have tenkir, I'm writing it in English or transliteration so people can get it. Muqabala and iwad. In Arabic, tenkin, tenkir, muqabala and iwad. Okay? Now, we're going to go over these right now. <clears throat> the first one is called Temkin. Um, the Temkin here, Meccan, is established. This is the Tenween that you see after Zaydun. Say Zaydun. It's after any name. Muhammadun. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You see this. You see the Tenween. Right? That Tenween is the Tenween that you say. Oh, they call it Tenween al-Sarf. They also, that's another nickname that they call it. The tanween that comes after names, words that you sarf, that change. And sarf means what? Change. When you studied Arabic, it says sarf is to change something. Like if you give me a dollar, I'm going to give you a nickel back. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's how it goes. So you change it. Ya hamakumullah. So this is the first type of tanween. And it comes on the ends of words that are names. Person, place, or things, and these things change in their form. You can say Zaydun was Zaydan, you know. So you say Ra'aytu Zaydan. So you would say Zaydan at this point, okay? Maradtu bi Zaydin with Kesra, okay? That is Tanween or Tenkin. You get it? The basic one and the one that is seen for the most part. Uh. What's my time looking at? Okay, good. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need 15 minutes. It's about a clock. 
الحمد لله. The next tanween that we see is called tankir. Tanweenu, tankir. And nakira is something that is indefinite, if you want to say the term. As a linguistic word, it's something you don't recognize. From that word, we get munkar, something that we don't recognize. You know, nakir and munkar, the two angels that look fierce and they're tough with everybody. You know, that you're going to see as soon as your peoples get like 40 steps away from the grave. You know, these, these two angels, man rubbu, who's your lord? You know, the, the, those questions they, they put on you. Nakira, unknown, okay? Something ugly because you don't recognize it. Okay, so here we, we find this like if I said, Ra'aytu Zaydan, Ra'aytu Zaydan, right? I saw Zaydan, and that's the Zayd we know. Wa Zaydun, Wa Zaydun, and I put a tanween here. This is the Zayd that we don't know. Meaning, what Zaydun Akhar, some other Zayd. Okay? Do you understand what my point right there? Or it's done, of a lot of times, you'll see it done with a name that is a non Arab name, Mebni, Ismun Mebni. For example, let's, give me an, an, an English name, an American name. Paul. Paul, okay? So here, we say, Ra'aytu Paul, right? They say, in Arabic, they won't say Paul, but I, I mean. Let me see. Paul would be like this. Um, bad on the bottom. Paul. Right? A to Paul. Right? Wa Paulin. You see? So they say, Wa Paulin Akhar. Okay? Now this Tanween on this name, now his name is Paul. It doesn't take Tanween. But we put the Tanween on it because we know this is some other Paul that we don't know. Do you understand? So that's where it does most of You won't see it. I shouldn't have used Zayd as an example. Take that out. Use an example from a word that is a name that is not an Arab name. Okay? So like Paul or Sibaway is the one that you find classically used. Wa Sibaway hin akhar. Some other Sibaway that we don't know about. Okay? Is that clear about that one? And the only reason I'm saying I mention this so we know. We're covering all edges right here. This is not the one that you're going to see when we're talking about Ahkam al-Nun al-Sakin and Tanween. This Tankir. This you aren't going to see it very that much. Okay, well, maybe you will because we speak English and we have those English names, so we might use it that way in regular speech. But as far as Tajweed is concerned, you won't find it like that, okay, in the Quran. Wallahu a'lam, okay? But just as a point, so we won't be laying a point on it. The next one is Muqabala. Again, this is something that you will see, and again, it won't change anything you do, but just so you know. So you have Muslimin. Everybody say Muslim, Muslim. mean. Okay? Muslimin. Okay? Now here, Muslimina. Then over here, the muqabala is when they say Muslimatun. Muslimatun. This tanween right here is called muqabala. This, the only reason this tanween is here is because this noon is here. So its tanween is in place of the noon that they have there, that the men have on Muslimin. Does that make sense? Okay, it, it may not make sense to you because you say, well, why, why? It's, this is how the Arabic, Arabic has been naqlan, we've got it, abin anjad, it's been abin anjad, passed down to us, father and son. And so this is how we found the Arabs doing. When the noon was on the men's, saying muslimin, they put tanween on the muslim, muslim the ladies' names, but they say muslimatun. Okay, muqabilatun, to be in the place of that noon right there. Everybody got me with that? Recognizing it? Now, the last one is the one that we need to understand a little bit more for our usage in the Qur'an. 